What's up guys, today's episode features super valuable old and modern world coins. Some of them can be in your coin collection without your knowing it, so pay good attention. But most of the showcase coins are key date representatives or super gems and bullion coins at high mean states. As always, I highly recommend you to hit subscribe button below this video to get daily updates on coin prices. Starting with this Canadian coin, 1906 Edward VII, 25 cents, circulated coin, graded as AU58 by PCGS. AU means it almost looks like uncirculated coin. What makes this coin so valuable even in circulated condition is that it's representative of so-called small reverse crown variety. Noted as one of the keys to the series, this small crown variety remains incredibly difficult to acquire so fine, as those that are typically offered have been heavily circulated. This particular coin, tittering on cusp of mint state, displays silver gray surfaces accented by areas of russet tone. Closer inspection reveals very mild wear to the central motifs. However, the emblematic reverse wrist design shows a struck detailing. Sold on June 28, 2022, for $30,000 at Heritage Auctions. Super expensive lot from Stax Bowers, Mexican 1947 silver 50 centavos pattern, graded at Mince Day 64, featuring a left facing bust of Benito Juarez. This exceedingly rare and possibly unique specimen dazzles with rather deep tone, composed of burnt sienna, magenta, and gunmetal gray. Meanwhile, some glistening hints of luster, akin to it, the devices when cradled back and forth in one's hand, sold at summer 2022 showcase auction of Stax Powers for $40,800. Here is circulated Philippines coin 1903 or 1904, one peso with die cap. Die cap error happens when a coin sticks to the die and strikes more coins. As it continues to strike more coins, the coin that is struck to the die becomes shaped like a bottle cap, hence the name cap die. This coin displays excellent obverse definition, with minor hairlines but little actual wear. The reverse has a ghostly image of obverse and both sides display varying shades of grey patina. Sold on August 8, 2014 for $41,125. This is 2000p Canadian Elizabeth II 25 cents, struck on a nickel plated steel planchet. A great modern rarity of the Canadian numismatic series, one of supposedly just 3 5 known. A magnificent gem, bright white with glossy luster, engraved to shallow relief, its surface is immaculate and free from hairlines or distracting marks. The sole example certified by PCGS, sold on January 13, 2024. $26,400 at Heritage Auction. Another error coin, this one from Great Britain, 1863 Victorian Sovereign, at Mint Day 66. This coin is struck 50% of center towards the 10 o'clock. Likely the result of a mint worker curiosity or bad day, the current offering presents a rare opportunity to inspect the appearance of mid 19th century planchet beside the finished product. Of what is struck remains magnificent, the velveteen fields radiating vibrant luster across Victoria's partial young head portrait, while the die number is struck wholly of planchet. Sold on August 25, 2022 for $40,800 at heritage auctions. Moving on to this key date Indian coin, 1911 George V's proof half rupee, a Calcutta mint, graded as PR65 by NGC. It is safe to assume five or less of these coins were struck for presentation purposes. Only two complete 1911 proof sets are known. The Calcutta Mint produced superior strikes workmanship in comparison to Bombay Mint, and this coin is a splendid example of this statement. The worst has an exemplary strike George's light peripheral toning with multitude of colors. Velvety bulbous watery mirrors that make up the fields. Sold on January 4th, 2016 for $25,850 at Heritage Auctions. Yet another error coin, this one featuring young Elizabeth II on a verse, Canadian 1969 25 cents. An extremely rare mint error. 
struck over an English gold sovereign, dated 1967, with the original Elizabeth readable above the bust. Weight 7.98 grams, possibly unique and trophy for collectors of sovereign or mint errors. Sold on January 5th, 2014 for $21,150 at Heritage Auctions. Here is super valuable commemorative coin from China, 1989 Yuan, graded as proof 69 Ultra Cameo by NGC. One of the rarest coins of modern Chinese numismatic programs, this piece honors 40th anniversary of founding of People's Republic of China. The verse is composed of an abstract national emblem within 40, with a piece doves above and below. Excerpt from National Anthem March of Volunteers, below with date 1949-1989, while the reverse depicts the national emblem flanked by decorative fireworks. The Great Hall of the People Below The proof had a mintage of only 1,000 pieces. Many numismatic scholars of modern series believe the actual mintage is significantly less. The exact number struck is unknown, but it is believed to be a very limited quantity. It was sold for $36,000 just in October this year at Stax Bowers. Moving on to this old bullion coin from Montenegro. 1910 Nicholas Van Gold 100 Perpera Grade that means day 63 plus Ultra Cameo by NGC A stunning example of this iconic and below early 20th century rarity that is seldom seen in any format, let alone as a proof. On the present example both sides of design are highlighted by considerable frost that has far fewer breaks than are typically encountered and is emboldened by the deep reflectivity that remains in the fields. In fact, this is a sole finest example graded by NGC or PCGS with one single other PR63 Ultra Cameo at NGC. But the plus designation on the present setting, this coin apart, has slight finer technical quality. It was sold in 2016 for $64,625. This is 1925 hundred francs from Switzerland, one of the most popular gold issues from the 20th century. These types are fully reflective of the iconography and the beauty of Switzerland. This gem example has a glossy luster that cartwheels light in a wholesome fashion. Some very light marks are present but none significant enough to break the luster. An absolutely amazing piece of Switzerland, this particular example is one of the most commendable of type. Sold in January 2022 for $36,000 at Stax Powers. Another coin from Great Britain 1933 George Fives Proof Pattern Penny, grade as PR65 Brown by PCGS. The famed 1933 Lavriller pattern, one of four known. A whole engaging specimen of this excessively rare pattern, beautifully struck with remarkably preserved surfaces, retaining much mint red on a verse and more even chocolate tone on reverse. In comparison to the standard issue of the same year, also extremely rare but with seven known examples versus a minuscule population of four for this pattern type. What's most striking about this pattern issue is a great level of detail engraved into the hair and beard of the King George. Sold in 2017 for $64,625 at Heritage Auctions. This one is from Austria, 1908 Gold Proof 100 Corona, rated as PR64 Cameo by NGC. In coin grading Cameo is the amount of contrast between the raised design and the field. Cameo is usually seen on proof coinage with a relief featuring a frosted finish and the field being mirror-like. Not all proof coins have a cameo effect, however. Present Lady in Clouds type coin was produced for 60th anniversary of Franz Joseph I's reign. Sold on January 21, 2021 for $66,000. And here is one of the most valuable British coins featuring Elizabeth II and her 2020 Proof 3 Graces 1000 pounds. Great as PR7 Ultra Cameo by NGC. Struck to commemorate one of the most beautiful compositions bestowed upon a coin, these impressive 100mm planchet spotlights the classically rendered allegoric figures of England, Ireland and Scotland embracing their respective national symbols at their feet, all framed within a beaded circle. 
contains 0.9999 ounces gold and has a weight of more than 1 kilo. Sold on October 28, 2021 for $96,000 at Heritage Auctions. Thanks for watching guys. If you liked this video, please hit thumbs up and subscription buttons below. Have a good one.